I feel like it might not be safe leaving Rusty on his own. Though. I'm almost certain you're correct. Like, I feel we're going to go back and things... He's going to be a monster or Max is going to have eaten him. Oh. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights okay. back on. Yep. Well. Rusty. Called it. I think that's maybe the end of Rusty, huh? Sounds like it. For Rusty's sake, I hope so. Hmm. Ooh, right. Ooh. Forgot about those. What hit you? These. Oh. Bits of darkness. But, but oh, okay. Max. I don't know why I shot him in the foot there. It just sort of happened. Uh, it worked. It counted to hmm. towards defeating him. Oof. Maybe it was that mammoth. Nope, he's still there. It okay. was Max. It was yes. <laughs> okay. If you insist. Oh Jesus. Oh God, it's Rusters. Oh God. He's one of them now. He's one of the... Bad boy, Rusty. Where... Where the hell is he? Oof. Whoa. Okay. This is... Get back here, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's resilient. He's yeah. like the zombies in Resi. There we go. In Resi 2. Even Resi more resilient. 2, yeah. Alright, I did it. Just uh, less bits flying about. Well, this doesn't look oh. suspicious at all. Well. Gotta go deal with these dudes. I think they come through this way. This whole situation doesn't look suspicious or incriminating towards Alan no. at all. Oh, no. <gasps> no! Max. Max. He was a good boy. Oh. Why always the dog? Always the dog. Okay, can't carry any more of that. Nice that they just give me a whole stockpile of ammunition, though. Yeah. Thanks, video games. Hopefully, You're uh, the best. Hopefully they won't take your gun away before you actually get to use it. No, I don't think this is that. I don't remember this being that kind of game. Keep in mind, the first time you got the gun, it was a dream. That's true, but that's not really the same thing. Ah, sunny sunshine. Now, here we go. Sunshine? That's, that's basically sunlight. Oh, we still got phone service up here. Neat. What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. <laughs> I saw, I saw oh, Barry. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. What a oh, dick. Jeez. You're crazy. <laughs> I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. I don't know. After all the explanations about what's been going on Alan has been giving to Barry, he's I feel like he's been very patient with Barold. No, I think after um, after all that um, Alan has explained to Barry, he's been pretty uh, accepting of everything. Yeah. The fact that Barry didn't just instantly call the police or the loony bin and have him locked up says a lot. Mm -hmm. Which, who could blame him? Man, the darks in this game are dark, huh? Yeah. Oof. It's... Oppressive. It's like the Silent Hill movie. So I I remember the first area quite strongly. I sort of remember this area a bit too. And having to go into the Silent Hill downpour uh, caves here. There was a few moments that kind of made you think of that game so far, I've noticed. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of horror games have a lot of shit in common. The over-the-shoulder view. Yeah. 
Moonshine Cave. And you're just you're out in like a site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout Prohibition. Excellent. And there's bats. Some games have bats. What's well, up? At least they're not crows. We learned that crows were pretty uh pretty malevolent in this oh, game. Oh, they're gonna appear a bunch in this game. Crows? Yeah. Oh yeah. Crow T robot. Oh <laughs> <laughs> even worse. Are you kidding? That'd be fantastic. But to have him try to hurt you? Oh, yeah. That would be bad. <laughs> Considering the things he said in the past. Do, 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 do. We need to start, uh, we need to record this game, I think, earlier in the morning. We record all day, typically, when we do. And I think we need to record this one in the morning, because, like, by this point in the day, I'm kind of tired, and I feel like I have less to talk about. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling. I was trying to, um... I was trying to explain my thoughts on certain parts of, uh, we just finished recording, uh, Faye, uh, which is this indie platformer game. I don't know. Oh, they'll know. have seen it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have probably, probably uploaded that before, uh, this Let's Play. Um, and Oof. I just think I really, I did a really poor job of explaining my thoughts on that game, and I... Well, plus the game decided to crap out before we could, uh... Yeah explain it all it uh it just decided to crash on us yeah like we'd finished the game but like that was weird that it just decided we were done i mean that's pretty it was pretty funny honestly <laughs> it was pretty we've been having like a lot of technical like glitches in games which is weird because i normally don't really encounter any uh glitches in games i'm usually pretty lucky but since we've recorded like almost every game we've played has had some serious technical hiccup in it yeah, it's, um... So far, Alan Wake has not. Oh, let's... We can only hope that it continues to it's, run. It's fine. I knocked on wood. Um... I'm trying to think. We haven't really had any issues with uh, Resi so far. No, that's true. Yeah, let's... Aside from me just biffing it a couple times in the game. Yeah, whatever. You just wanted to... You just... Uh-oh. You hear that? That's a bad sound. It sounds sinister. Can't even remember which way I'm going. Yes, this way. Yep, yeah, and it's getting hard. It's getting dark, too dark to see. I am knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. But yeah, so anyways, I was trying to explain the... What I thought was the story of Faye, and I was just... I just blanked. That's like, fine. I blanked hard. No, I mean, you got, you got your idea across. Yeah, basically... One race, uh... Of advent, fox people? Of fox people, uh... They lost their humanity. They... No, they gained humanity. But they lost their humanity. Oh, they... They lost... They became, uh... They... They were once one with the woods, and then they were no longer one with the woods. Until, uh... Until they lost their whippersnapper. <laughs> until they lost their babies. Until they lost their babies. Then the babies became uh, one with the woods. Ooh, good dodge. Yikes. Okay. Are they, they're chucking hatchets at you? Uh, yes, they are throwing things like axes at me and oh. hammers. My god. Yeah. And considering where we are, they're probably quite good oh, at it. I like this. The great old one. Oh, this was the Lovecraft reference yes. I was thinking of. It's called the Great Old One because it's a uh, big ancient tree, but also H.P. Lovecraft because because Lovecraft was Stephen King's favorite author. So how could they not? I think every good every good horror author uh, owes something to that boy. Yeah, that very racist boy. <laughs> racist, but somewhat progressive in other aspects, like. Didn't he have pretty progressive views on homosexuality? Uh, no, not really. Oh. I don't think he... I don't remember really hearing much about it. He did have a friend who turned out to be gay, but I don't think we know if he knew that he was gay. Okay. Um, Lovecraft himself might have been uh, asexual. He almost certainly was aromantic. Not a new romantic, mind you, just a regular romantic, aromantic. Like... Not romantic at all, basically. Yes, um, is entirely possible, but we, we don't really know, honestly. He was, even though he wrote a lot of stuff, he didn't write about his personal stuff all that much like that. He wrote a lot about his dreams. 
Um, there we go. He, he wrote a lot of his dreams? Yeah, he was really into his, like, dream life. Damn. That's, yeah. That's a skill in and of itself. Yeah. Um, a lot of his kind of worst stories are dreams. <laughs> I think they're not so good, but... Yeah, it's really hard to... They're just, they're sort of weird. They're not that, they're not that interesting. Not that they, they are uninteresting dreams, but that, like, the stories don't really it's go really anywhere. It's really hard to make explaining your dreams engaging. Yeah. Unless it's just so absurd that... Well, they're, and they're not even really his dreams. They're just sort of, like, fantasy sequences. They're just kind of not, they don't go anywhere, really. Do you remember uh, your weirdest dream at all? Mm, not off the top of my head. I usually have, most of my dreams are like stress dreams about work. Ah. Uh, that's, that's... I kind of... The Taken are filled with darkness. Yeah, we figured that already. So the enemies are called the Taken. Like that awful movie. Oh, that's the Forgotten. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's probably a horror movie called the Taken, right? I don't know, but Taken is... The first Taken, at that's least, a good is movie. a good movie. Yeah. Um... No, as to your question, I don't think I really remember my strangest dream. Most of my dreams are stress related. Like so. where like where you're like back at school and No, like um I fucked up something at work and everyone's mad at me and everyone hates me. Oh, okay. That's those are the dreams that I have. Um well I do have uh work related stress dreams too, but they're always about like the quote unquote plot of the dream is usually I'm trying to get to work on time, and I keep getting... Delayed? I keep getting delayed, or maybe even taken further away from my destination. Good dodge. Like, I remember one dream, I was on my way to work, and somehow I ended up at the top of a mountain. Uh-huh. And... Oh, I have, uh, I have wrong turn dreams, but not dreams about the movie Wrong Turn. That would be weird. Yeah, it's just like, uh... <laughs> just like you... Yeah, that's a stress dream that's like being late to something. Sure. Yeah, but eventually... <laughs> the weird thing about this dream is that it was about me being on my way to work, but eventually I just kind of forgot about it for the sake of the adventure that I was on. So did we did we not just talk about how dreams are only really interesting to the person who had them? Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, that dream's not that interesting, <laughs> my dude. <laughs> no. I'm not saying I have interesting dreams, but that's... Uh, uh -huh. Well, I mean, it was fun. While it lasted. It was nice. It was fun and nice. <laughs> it started out stressful, but it, it ended up being pretty fun. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I, if you're... Okay. I just remembered uh, at one point in the dream, there was like a random musical number. Sure. I couldn't remember how it goes, but... Sure. But yeah, dreams. They're not interesting. Almost ever. And I don't just mean you, I mean in general, they're just not interesting. I don't know. Sometimes you get that one dream that somebody just remembers vividly and they're able to tell it pretty well and it can be engaging. Hey, what happened to that channel co-op you were watching? Oh, they started talking about dreams a lot and it got really boring. <laughs> uh, I've never really had dreams that are interesting to anyone else or even to myself, honestly. Well, to be fair, the interesting to one... To be fair. <laughs> you, really, you really like... Uh... I do. <laughs> you really like... Uh, that's McElroy Brothers. No, that's uh, Cinema Snob. Oh, okay. Unless is McElroy. Oh, right. The way you were kind of delivering it, though, I did get a little bit of Griffin out of it. Sure. That's a, that's a, a television program I need to watch again. Um, it's the McElroy Brothers TV show. My Brother, My Brother and Me? The TV show. Ah. I'm praying for a season two. I know. Hopefully they can get, like, a good provider, because they were with, uh, Sisu. CISO. CISO. Yes, and then it went under. Oh. That's An a... NBC affiliate. It's a streaming service for comedy, I think, specifically. Well. There we go. You can't see it, but my fingers are crossed. Here's hoping. Yeah, right? Just that... something McElroy related. Hell, Netflix seems to like picking up... <laughs> Weird things, shows. ...things that go under. Those are some good brothers. Yeah. Yikes. Ah, oh, perfect. Ah, oh, there's the crows. Oh, oh, I thought it, I thought it fell for a second. Heads up. Yeah, the crows come back repeatedly as swarms dive bomb you, and you have to attack them with your flashlight. That seems like 
seems like what the object of the game has been this whole time. What's up? Yo! Hell yeah! Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them come. That's... This dude's prepared. He looks like the the lead guy from... He's in a lot of things, but I mostly remember hit the guy from uh, Law & Order SVU. Christopher Maloney? Yeah, he kind of reminds me of him. Um, I don't know, maybe if you beat him with a sack of hammers. Like an older, beaten Christopher Maloney. Oh, you're right, they did take away my gun. Why? Oh, doing the Metroid approach, You were right, we? yes. I think he probably dropped it during that. Yes, during the crash. Just keep that light steady on you got it. But then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived. Really? He knew my right. name. We were headed into He must have been the guy with the deer blood in the back of his truck. Ah, you're probably right. Wait, you better keep up. He's got that certain local yokel look to him. Eat shit and die. Okay, hurry up and thank you. Whoa, this is like a reverse... This is like a reverse, um... Escort mission. Yeah. Uh, this dude sucks at aiming, too. So it's, um... Not inac... It's, uh, not inaccurate from the way I play escort missions. Yeah. <laughs> I'm incredible. But this dude has, like, whiffed every shot. This is brutal. Is it... It's at least interesting. All right, finally. Christ, that dude sucks at shooting. I could have done it. You got it. Give me the gun. Yeah, like actually, that would be a good idea because that dude has to fiddle with the. Yeah, if you're not using it. Right. All right. Get some light on those bastards. Keep them all I am. Ooh, that really is radiant. Yeah, right? The the lighting effects are very nice in this game. Like it washes everything out and it Get the fuck off. All right. Well, at least it didn't take him very long. Thank oh, God. Oh, this is this is the kidnapper. Yeah. Because he knows my name, he saw me come into town with my wife, he was out here with the guns, he's already, like, super prepped on how to kill these things. Fuck you. I kept you alive, dickweed. Yeah. Better get ready. They'll be honest soon. Although, to be fair, that is how I treat uh, NPCs and escort missions. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, again, not entirely inaccurate. Mr. Kidnapper, are you trying to seduce me? Cool. Well, with, with that voice, uh... Yeah, I hope so. Actually, sounds like, uh... What's his name? Lee Ar... Ar, Ar Lee Ermey? R.V. Lee Ermey? He's an actor. I don't know. The guy who played the drill sergeant in yes, Metal Jack. Yes, yes. And, uh, the, uh... If you if you guys have heard of What's this... What's his name? Howard the Duck? Is that it? Uh, R... The actor? Yeah. R. Lee Ermey? R. Lee Ermey, something like that, yeah. Oh yeah, I can hear it. No, if that's the name, I mean. I. Oh yeah, Arlie Ermy is the name okay. of the actor. I don't know who the voice actor for this guy no, is. No, but that's but... who he sounds like. He sounds like Arlie Ermy. Yeah, uh, Arlie Ermy was also in a. Um, uh, it's kind of like the sister game of Night Trap called Double Switch. Oh okay. He plays a uh, the janitor of the building that that game takes place in. Sure. Wow, this dude fucking sucks at shooting. He just missed like five shots. There we go. Fuck. We were at point blank range, dude. What's the... oh. Hmm, I should probably save that, huh? I only have the one. Yeah. Whatever, I think we're almost done here. Is this the last horde of enemies? I think it probably is, like, the last one. That's great. <laughs> uh, he's, you can, he's just been waiting to deliver that one. 
Alright. It's a cat, whatever. Not just the name of a city in Thailand. Yeah, it's a way of life for me. There we go. Oh, now he starts making all the shots? Sure. Maybe you're just instilling the confidence in him to make the shot. <laughs> I just have to show him that I believe in him. Alan Wake was always about the friends you made along the way. <laughs> the real darkness was the friends we made along the way. All right. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congrats. Yeah, what a what a weird leap of logic that would have been if you hadn't read it already. Once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. Just break his fucking teeth. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, he looks like he's asking for it. He just got some chunky teeth. He's just showing them off. All right. Well, uh, I think he just made good on his promise of trying to kill this dude. That was that was a smart move right there. Yeah. I was expecting more of a fall, though. Yeah, I kind of thought it would be a big big fall. Oh, dude. You got the gun, you're fine. Let me just saunter over to you casually. Man, these crazy fans. The guy who's reading Alan's lines is really good. He's good. That, uh, that water, it actually looks pretty good still. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of... This is not a very long game, so I think they had a lot of room on the disc to fit stuff in. So they just kind of took the... They just took their sweet time, like, or sweet space on the hard drive. But yeah, like, the environments still look really nice. The fog is good. The... Hello, I just saw you run across Plus the road. with the uh, fog, you can do You even... can hide stuff. Yeah. It's. I don't think the fog is like a... Well, obviously it's not Silent Hill dense, but... It's not just a cover draw distance, like it's just a foggy ass game. And you can you can still kinda hide. Well you can make out shapes of the fog, which is a nice Yeah. And there's still enough like What oh. the hell? I I thought I was a I thought it was a manuscript page. It wasn't glowing quite as bright though. But you didn't say anything, you didn't fucking know. Well, I I thought the you saw it. it. I went to it intentionally. That's why I went up to it and kind of like tapped a button. Also, I was I still had uh, something on my mind that I was going to say, and I just uh, decided not to help me. Gotcha. I it just didn't. I I'm didn't so glad I brought you it. along on this little trip to Bright Falls. Now, see, I don't know what that is. That is a bear trap. That is a bear okay. trap. I think most of these Jesus are Christ be bear traps. Uh, has, there's one there too. What is this? Resident Evil 4? I feel like if it's glowing especially radiantly, that is when you know that it'll That is a be. manuscript. Yeah. And you can usually kind of see yep. the, up, up, up. Serpentine. the square shape. Look out for snakes. <laughs> Watch out for snakes. Um, batteries. Great. All right. Feeling good. That is. I think that is like the most... There it is. Yeah, they look noticeably square from uh, even from Okay, a well, thank you, Backseat Gamer. Says the Backseat Gamer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Uh... This is the... Um, that scene that we just finished with the kidnapper, that is the most flares I think we'll ever have in the game. Like, we'll never have access to that many ever yeah. again. Well, it's a lot of flares. Yeah. If you didn't use them, would you just be able to hold on to them? For I the doubt it, because... Oh. Oops. See, that's did... cinematic dodge. You did fall off a cliff, Cinematic so dodge. that could have easily been a good excuse to take the flares from you. Yep. Like, oh, they just fell, flew out of my pocket while I was falling. Yep. I picked up one at the bottom, but yeah, I didn't have any left. I don't think it would have let me keep them. That would be way too nice for this survival horror game. And it's already taken your gun from you multiple times Yeah, now. twice already. <laughs> 